for joining me again here in the kitchen on Naturals Network. I'm Naturally Nina. Today I'm gonna to be preparing a vegan drunken noodles for you. So we've already got the noodles going and now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the tofu and the drunken noodle sauce. So I'm first gonna prepare my pan. I'm gonna turn my heat on to about medium and I'm gonna add some oil so that we can go ahead and cook up some onions and garlic. So again, we're gonna do about two tablespoons of oil. And get it nice and hot, and we'll put in our onions and garlic. So drunken noodles is a very popular Thai dish. I'm a huge fan of Thai food because as you know, I love coconut. And Thai food often um, really has a lot of coconut milk in it and coconut flavored items, um, which is mostly why I think that I like Thai food so much. Uh, this particular recipe actually doesn't contain anything with coconut in it, but it's delicious just the same. I'm a big fan of spice and drunken noodles is of course very, very spicy. They actually call it drunken noodle because you kind of want to get drunk on water after you eat it because it is so spicy. So um, we're still waiting on the pan to get nice and hot so I can add my onions. I'm going to go ahead and do so now. tablespoons of garlic right on top of the onions because we don't want the garlic to burn. So I'm going to go ahead and let the onions and garlic cook together, get soft and take up the flavors of each other. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the tofu marinade that is going to be kind of the star or meat of the dish. So I've got some tofu right here that I've already drained, meaning I've gotten most of the water out of it. I've pressed it with paper towel and it's a little tiny bit moist, but it's rather dry to the touch which is exactly what you want. You don't want a lot of that tofu liquid to be excreted into the drunken noodle sauce because it's just gonna water it down and it's not gonna taste very good. So that's why you wanna try to get it as dry as possible. Anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes of keeping it suspended over some type of reservoir that will hold the liquid. So for instance, um, you can use a jar like this, or you can use a bowl and put a little bit of cheesecloth on top. Just secure it with a little bit of um, rubber band or something that's going to tightly hold it across there so it's not sliding around. You want a nice stable surface so that the tofu can sit there. And as you press it with the paper towel, it's not going to really move all around or jolt around. So I'm going to dice this tofu into a nice small dice. It smells so good. Continue here with my tofu. Now tofu is rather bland. It doesn't really have a flavor. That's why if you ever do use tofu, you always want to make sure that you have a really nice, flavorful, robust sauce or liquid that it's going to be in because it's going to go ahead and take on the flavors of whatever it's around. So you either want to season it really, really well or you want to 
to be in some type of sauce or soup that has a lot of flavor in it because by itself, it doesn't really taste like anything. And so you see they're, they're generally about the same size, just a little cube. You just want a nice little bite of the tofu as you eat the drunken noodles. All right. So I'm going to get that sauce going and then we're going to add the tofu and the sauce right into the middle of this pan here. We're going to get the tofu nice and seared on all sides and it's going to really take in a lot of that drunken noodle sauce and marinade. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get the tofu marinade going. Right here I have some rice vinegar and we're going to put some of this rice vinegar, about a quarter of a cup, right into this bowl. I'm going to use the same with the tamari. Do about a quarter cup. We're also going to use some veggie broth. Again, about a quarter of a cup of veggie broth. And then I went ahead and I juiced a lime. And so we're going to go ahead and add that lime juice right to the tofu marinade as well. Now I'm going to take a couple tablespoons of sriracha and I was actually able to find some organic sriracha at the health food store. I was so excited because sriracha is delicious and I found an organic one so that's even better. So this is going to give you a nice kick. I'm actually just going to go ahead and mix all of this all around. I'm also going to add a little bit of coconut sugar. Um, now you can use any type of sugar that you, you'd like, brown sugar, white sugar, date sugar, whatever sugar you prefer. I like coconut sugar. Um, it's a lot easier on the body. Um, it's more recognizable not as taxing on the body as far as with digestion so it's a better alternative which is why I like to use the coconut sugar so we'll give that a nice stir I'm gonna go ahead and add in my tofu and then we're gonna get going with the stir frying once the stir fry is complete I'm gonna add it to my noodles and we'll have our vegan drunken noodles stay tuned I'll show you the final product here in a minute Thank you for joining me here again in my kitchen. I'm going to be right back here next week on Naturals Network. This was the vegan drunken noodles. I hope you guys enjoy it at home. We finished the dish with a little bit of fresh basil right on top and added it to the noodles and man it is delicious. Again, let me know how things turned out at your house. If you did anything different, if you kicked up the spice, if you took the spice down a little bit more, let me know. Put it down in the description underneath. Also, please make sure that you're subscribing to the channel. We really would enjoy your support as well as click the notifications button because we want you guys to know all the things that are coming up on the channel very soon here. So until next week, I'm Naturally Nina. I'll see you guys next week back in the kitchen. Have a good one.